There we go. I think I'm roughly set up. I've got a million maps open. Um, yeah, should be good. Should be at least better than yesterday. All right, didn't finish yesterday, so we're still Gillian. Freighter 5, thank you for the good luck. So I've been doing some thinking. Yesterday, yesterday I was foolish, I was weak, I was soft. Yesterday I stole $65,515 from the movie theater. In my defense, they were trying to charge me $100 to see Godzilla in 3D, and that movie only lasts like five seconds. But I've been doing some thinking, and honestly, they probably got way more money than that in their till. So I think today we're going to steal at least 130000 from them. Maybe, maybe we go to 195. I'm not sure. But we're definitely stealing 130. You love crime? Well, I've got good news about this game. This game is all about crime. Sort of. with 500 bucks. I think I think I buy 3 bombs. Three bombs, two junker highs and two circuit killers. I think that's what I do. I'll use the three bombs during the Little John fight. That feels correct. Panda, thank you very much for the good luck. Emma, hope you're doing well. Ruby, hope you're doing well. God damn it. Ready, free time save. You know, this particular theme has a very uh, Star Tropics feel to it, I think.
think no junkers high. Five will be enough. Come on. I love movement in this game, it's so good. Is this game part E's in its DNA? I don't know, actually. Maybe. It is part Metal Gear, though. You knew about Metal Gear from the non-SD version? Yeah, that's fair. time for the riveting part of this run. Actually, isn't there a box over here? I feel like I remember there being a box out here from my casual playthrough. Nope. Just time loss. That's all. Riveting time loss. Engaging time loss.
this is why Metal Gear doesn't get to come out and play any other time after this. I do love the fact that the first enemy that you face looks very much like the Insectors did. It's a good callback. still. How much of this is based on Snatcher on Sega CD? Um, I mean, there is definitely overlap in a lot of the plot. It's, it's billed as a retelling of the same story, which it's not. It's super not, but it, it's billed as like, you know, we, we, we remade it as a JRPG. start one-shotting them next level. That 
that's correct, actually. Uh, what Jordan, drinking with skeletons, is, is saying right now in chat is 100% correct. SD Snatcher actually is short for same de game snatcher. I wasn't aware that that's a thing, but that's good to know. I, I, I mean, obviously, being in a hospital probably means that somebody is often not alright, but I, I hope he recovers quick. That does sound bad. Yeah, that, that I'm super happy to hear that that it sounds like he is recovering. strength so that I can start one-shotting these guys. You can one-shot them in, in Snatcher from the very get-go. Is there a melee attack? No, there sure isn't. Look, this game uses nothing but sound logic. The harder you pull the trigger, the harder the gun comes, uh, the, the harder the gun fires the harder the bullet comes out and hits the robot in the robot face. Okay, calling it the Act 1 twist is... That's dark. I like it. Us, actually, no, that puts us at one shots. We want to do one round here. Ah, yes. Uh, so, right now, I am using Metal Gear, who can automatically aim my weapon for me. Uh, which is faster when you don't care where exactly the weapon gets aimed. These enemies in sectors only have one square that's valid to attack. So it is the only time in the game where it's actually faster to let Metal Gear do the aiming for you.
for the rest of the run, you're going to see me using attack to attack, where I have to aim the gun. Because, and I really like this about the, the combat system in this game, where you attack on most robots impacts the damage that you do. Certain spots are better for uh, weakening their weapons, but it won't actually damage their HP. Uh, or maybe you want to shoot their legs to reduce their speed. Things like that. But it, Metal Gear is just kind of, just kind of mean about it, and will slowly pick apart enemies. Yeah, after I get my next level up, which is probably in two more laps, you'll see me start using attack on the upper floor. Actually, it might be faster. I definitely want to use a Junker's Hive before I start fighting these guys. So I should, I think, now kill them in two hits. So it might be faster to level up up here. Not faster to level up up here. Next level. Two shots, it's faster up here. Three shots, it is extremely not. Yeah, I'm aim body. That's that's a pretty good way to put it. Not even a full lap, and I should be ready to go upstairs. And upstairs, I think, only lasts for one level's worth of experience. And you gain experience twice as fast. Actually, I wonder if that's true.
Stinky Tofu. Hello, Happy New Year to you as well. Hope you're doing well. It occurs to me that in terms of... I can't go up there. In terms of shot economy, I feel like the Insectors are actually a better deal. They might be a better deal all around. Especially with these guys' tendency to just kind of move around. numbers definitely make it feel like come on man I can't go up there I'll find a bomb if I if I can't see it it can't hurt me so stop trying to make me see it all right I'll activate the bomb so that I can activate the enemy rush strength up. Bummer. I'm skipping by you. That's good. I definitely want to have to use a Junker High already. This guy is scary. Ah, that makes him actually substantially scarier. Thank you. 
Uh, level up stats are extremely not randomized. Because this is still a first run, I will show you level up stats. It's not that they're randomized, it's that every single stat has its own experience counter. Alright, so here's why I bought all the bombs. That guy down. Two more junk are high, maybe just one. Yo, Kate, how's it going? Am I winning? I mean, I'm hanging out, playing video games on Twitch with a ton of cool people. Sounds like winning to me. Chikobo, how's it going? I will fight you, I don't want to fight the other two.
Please stop dodging my attacks. Okay, that one was my fault, though. Terrible fight. Should probably be using circuit killers on those guys for now. How many candles are we going for? God, I hope only 24. I need to stop mashing. Blew up, yeah. So you don't get any experience when they self-destruct, you only get the money. When you render them completely um, defenseless, they have a self-destruct uh, timer.
Yeah, these guys are, they're rough. Is this car a boss? No, no, <laughs> this, this is just how the, um, this is just how the game's uh, difficulty curve works. One of the things that Hideo Kojima apparently was told is that uh, grinding is good in RPGs. Super Decapitated Snatcher, yes, 100% correct. Just let me leave. I mean you no harm. Let's just walk our own separate ways. Goodbye. The poll was, what's the best movie? Metal Gear Solid 4 1. That seems fair, actually. What were the other options? Just out of curiosity.
four other copies of Metal Gear Solid 4. Yeah, no, that's... That's fair. That makes sense as a poll. Oh yes, yes, this game's core premise absolutely lifts from Blade Runner. No, I checked the original Snatcher, it was, it was, uh, two L's. discounts on weapons. That seems fine. I didn't check how many bullets I have. I'm sure that's fine. How's it going? I mean, the ending isn't that different from the regular Snatcher ending. Oh yeah, I have like a million bullets. I'm good. Oh, they just stopped on a cliffhanger? Ah, I haven't played the, the MSX uh, Snatcher. I have only played Sega CD. Oh, interesting. Okay, so story beats were pulled from SD Snatcher into Sega CD Snatcher then. Interesting. I didn't realize that. Ooh, 
me start. Please stop hurting me. Thank you. Those bullets are much less dangerous. It's gonna have mini sequels. I also didn't realize that. I mean, it kinda kinda ends with a single sequel hook. Which I guess in Kojima Land means yeah, it's it's gonna have like a million sequels. not finish the run yesterday. But no work today, so or no no work tomorrow. Rather. So uh, I've got more time. Is this game more than four hours long? Oh yes. Yes, this game is definitely more than four hours long. game is four hours long spelled Thai Tuesday style. I get a, heal, a, a free heal after this fight. Nerd Bennett, how's it going?
Team Murdoch, thank you very much for the good luck. I love how the game tells you, all right, we don't care about this area anymore. It's time for you to leave and go somewhere else. Just makes, makes the area unbearably hospitable. All you have to do to solve the mystery is go to all the places where the robots are trying to stop you when they're trying to stop you. For example, right now, there are no robots trying to stop me in this headquarters. None whatsoever. So I should leave. My favorite part of this game. Yeah, Snatcher's really good. Um, the original came out in the States, it just didn't sell well. Uh, if you ever get a chance to play it on the Sega CD, it is honestly probably one of the best. Uh... I don't want to talk to you. Also, I'm pretty sure that this is the wrong spot. CLO's over here. Um, Probably one of the best visual novels you're going to play. It it stands up as, as absolutely outstanding in, in its uh, genre. Somebody tells me about the disc, and I don't remember who tells me about the disc. It's all the way over here. Is it you? Nope. Uh, yes. Cool. Even further. Pick up some money. Joy Division is... I don't want to be here.
though. I do want to buy stuff. Nene, how's it going? Alright, now we gotta dodge everyone for a little bit. I cannot fight any of you. I have to get rid of some of this money before I un-overflow, which is actually a real danger. this down a few thousand. There we go. Alright, no longer afraid. Actually, this is probably a level up. Now for the part that I'm really bad at. I'm super bad at this because I don't have a um, I don't have a, a numpad.
There we go. Now I would like to grind. I think the next gun up is 24. So let's try and do that. Sergina, how's it going? Was Twitch not working for a bit? That sucks. Binder News, how's it going? Man, so many cool people in my chat. You already missed Headless Jean Jean? Yeah. Twitch has been having outages. Well, that sucks. Hey, don't hurt me. That's me. Yeah, I did get a couple of weird, uh, you've unsubscribed successfully emails this morning uh, for channels to which I'm still subscribed. There we go. This is good. Yeah, don't hurt me. That's my job. Calling backslash, how's it going? Thank you for the good luck. I gotta get back to base really soon, though. Got this money, it's burning a hole in my pocket.
I will paralyze you again. You don't let me murder you. Thank you. Yeah, sometimes they're just squirrely, these robots. The funny thing I think about this is that, without a doubt, this will be slower, but it's going to save so much time overall. Let's go by and change the disc in time. Yeah, nice. But yeah, whack a mole is going to be slower. That's not that big of a deal. We're going to be set up way better later on. Tons of later stuff's going to go way faster. Better for strength and speed to grind the little spiders? Strength is the number one thing that we care about in this. Speed is the second most important thing. Um, money, for various reasons, we're not as concerned about. I love games that don't allow you to purchase things in bulk. carry more than 50 of these. That's good. That's good to know. I guess it's only circuit killers that limit you to... Zero Blade Edge. Thank you very much for the good luck. Hope you're doing well. Go north of 50 here? No. Okay. Okay. Show me guns. What can I buy right now? I will just go with the shot stormer, actually. Uh, 
I should put the... That's fine. That's fine for now. Drop to just at three hundred. Perfect. What do I have on me right now? I do have <laughs> some of the big ones, that's fine. I'm about to obtain a lot more of those. Just relaxing before you head into work? You've been meaning to play this game? Game's real good. Yeah, all you gotta do is manage to switch the disc in... Uh, I mean, it's an emulator, so the UI makes it a fair bit nicer to do, but yeah. Once again... I actually... This is a problem. We're gonna be- we're gonna be paralyzed escaping a lot, I think. Yeah, this is this is on Open MSX. Which is pretty darn good. Alright. I need to not. Yeah, ironically, this is emulating the exact model of MSX that I own two of back in the States. I just don't have them here in Europe yet. Rude. It's true, the MSX and the NES are different systems. That's been proven scientifically. Lamalana is what tipped you off about the MSX? Yeah, same. How's it going, Ben?
turn in the ticket to... So, the original Snatcher, uh, the entire combat system was basically whack-a-mole. So they put that little minigame in there as a, like, kind of nod to that. It only took two extra minutes, including money duplication. to talk to you so that you'll actually open the door. I am rich. You know what the secret was? I robbed a movie theater. Twice. And you know what else? I'll do it again. I mean, this isn't so much math bullshit. This is like taking advantage of exactly one place in the game where it doesn't check to make sure that it can subtract the right amount of money, which causes your money to underflow, and then you get 16 bits worth of money. Is it possible to have more than 65,535 monies? No. of that one, huh? Um? Hmm. That's fine, probably. Actually, hey, what am I carrying right now? Because let's get rid of some of it. Let's not carry you. Yeah, for some reason, that menu where you change out what guns, etc., etc., are active is just really, really, really slow. So it wasn't worth going back in. It costs more time than just mashing through that menu. Damn it. I lost the race. No, Hideo Kojima would never, ever, ever have an untitled game. 100% it would be titled Goose Game, presented by Hideo Kojima.
<laughs> Violent Honk Man. Oh, that's too good. That is very, very strong. Just want to kill a few of these guys. Oh, wrong thing. Oh. That will technically make this fight actually not not faster at all because it only takes two bombs. Something is very funny to me about bioweapons being the thing that make you not able to use drugs. Going into Joy Division is painful. Painful and slow. Especially at the point where using bombs can be profitable. Not that I necessarily care, but with free money, but you know. Bumping me up one more strength would be nice. Yeah, 
They just don't respawn, these guys. What a bummer. They were nice to talk to. Now, just in case anybody is upset that I stole from the theater, they charged me a hundred bucks to watch this. The end. You, I want to go play with the big guys. Ones that give me twice as much benefit for blowing them up with a bomb. Yeah, also I had to go buy my own 3D glasses for 300 separate, separate dollars. It was a very expensive movie, all things considered. This is 2040 something, I think. I forget, I forget what year this is. No, this is more than 50 years after Lucifer Alpha. So this will be 2050 something. like one more strength up. Thank you. Uh, would one bomb and one gun work uh, when when I was at like 23 strength? Ah, uh, maybe. Yeah, might be faster this, to skip the long explody animation in that case. Absolutely. All these bots attacking normal people too? Yes! Yes, that is one of the problems that... That's one of the problems that one of the NPCs that you talk to uh, kind of lets you in on. That NPC had figured out that somebody that you're tracking is a stalker because... He's one of the only two people that the robots don't attack.
Yeah, narratively, you're only particularly strong because you have really good guns. Options, yes. Blackhawk, it's only range one. I thought that it was the, uh, the range four. That's still fine. I mean, the weapons themselves are... Oh, yeah, the bombs. The bombs are... Um... Presumably only sold to certain people. time saved because I didn't have to hunt down the story trigger. On top of that, I have leveled up and also have way more cash than during yesterday's attempt, which is going to in turn result in me power leveling my way through this. The leading zero appears to be completely decorative. suck. That didn't suck anywhere near as much as I thought it was going. Okay, cool. No, I, I mashed until the game told me I wasn't allowed to purchase anymore. Do I have a guide on where to aim? the guide comes from my casual playthrough of this game. Uh, but I'm, I'm not aware of that being documented anywhere. If somebody wanted to speedrun this, I'd say, that seems silly. And then I'd tell them, make sure you do a casual playthrough so that you learn where to shoot on everybody. Because by the time that you're done with a casual playthrough, you will know precisely where to shoot every one of these goddamn robots. Oh, 
I gotta go to the left still. Oh good, they missed. They missed twice! Nice! Do I have to talk to you? You probably tell me. To go there. Yeah, that, that is almost certainly a plot trigger. Yeah, this is already a superior gun. I've got the Shot Stormer, which is the bullet based gun that I had yesterday. Uh, but Black Hawk is a new gun compared to yesterday's run. Also, I just have a lot of bombs. Why did I get one today and not yesterday? Yesterday I only stole $65,535 from the movie theater. Today I stole about $130,000 instead. Turns out, more money is more. Have I leveled up speed yet? Yes, I have. Nice. Cleaning up these streets. Get rid of just a little bit of this cash, huh? I don't want to have to go duplicate money again. I don't know if I can duplicate money again. Minimap, how's it going? Welcome in, everyone. Hopefully today we get to finish this game and actually experience the joy that is Neo Kobe Pizza. Hey, everybody who's here, if you're not following Minimap and, like, somebody, including Minimap, Minimap is capable of doing this, somebody should give Minimap a shout-out, please. Um, you should be following Minimap because he rules. He is so good at streaming in general, but especially Mahjong. Uh, you should be able to do it, I think, with just a forward slash. It's a slash command. It's an, it's an official Twitch command. 
You look forward to beating Matt tomorrow? I, I look forward to getting my ass kicked by Matt tomorrow. Every time that Matt wins in a game against me, I, I learn something. Don't worry, I don't have to fight you. There's plenty of people that I can play with. Inside. You got it taken care of. Thank you very much. When does Minimap become Mega Map? I don't know. I think Mini. If, if he became Mega Map, he might become too powerful. Mini Map Battle Network? Skill based Mini Map. So since I, I triggered the plot point of finding out who Napoleon is, that's why I'm not sure if I can do another money dupe. Please give me better enemies. This one. Better enemy. All right, now I'm willing to use the bomb. Thank you. Oh, shoot. Yes, Miyuki was absolutely meant to be a split. Thank you. Honestly, half the splits are just so that I remember the plot points <laughs> that I'm supposed to be hitting. Um... Save hostage is a is a boss fight though, so Split talk to a guy that somehow unlocks a door three miles away. Uh, yes, actually, that is literally what Mi Miyuki is. That's that's what that split means. run so far to the to the right. Thank you. 
I did not take the Black Hawk last time. In this case, the Black Hawk is, among other things, just kind of a money sink. necessarily care about those guys as much at this point, especially because I have to fight a ton of them anyway. It's just this. Basically, the, the two things that this game thinks are good for boss fights are a lot of robots all in a row, or a way more powerful robot than you've faced so far. I'm gonna use Junker's High as soon as I'm down to one robot. What's now? The amount of time that it took me to meet Miyuki and save the hostage was the amount of time that it took me to save the hostage. Uh, plus one minute and 14 seconds. You read that as random hijinks, are you wrong? Um, I mean, strictly speaking, yes. Spiritually, no. Nice. Extra shots are nice. Did they change his name from random in the original? 
Uh, in the Sega CD release, at least, uh, they translated it as random, which, uh, for plot reasons, don't th that doesn't really make a ton of sense. And they probably should not have translated it that way. gonna mash, apparently. But yeah, the, the original Sega CD did, uh, right, alright, here is where we save. You want to cool it? Thank you. So you can't blow up the, ho the the robot while holding a hostage, and if you shoot the hostage, it's an instant game over. can ab accidentally shoot the hostage if the robot moves. I should really just be using two bombs for this, but... This will actually make the uh, fight substantially faster. What if I just use two bombs right now?
The answer is that it's very funny if I do. Cool. I, I had not considered that this robot looked like a furry, or furby, and now I hate it so much! Because it does have extreme, this is a furby energy. I hate those things. Somebody made an organ out of... out of Furbies? That actually sounds really, really cool. I, I definitely will Google it. Probably not right now, right now, but, you know. Between it's awesome and it's horrifying, I gotta tell you, I'm getting very slightly mixed, uh... I'm getting, I'm getting mixed messages from my chat right now. Oh, these are the old guys. I guess technically that's fast. Oh my god. Yeah, no, we're at the... Don't shoot, you outrank me stage.
I supposed to go from here? Oh no. I think this way? Shoot, where is W? Did that totally normal human just spit a plasma bolt at me? Yes. Anyway, enjoy, Chibi Sting. Rondam is a cool dude and a badass, and he's never done anything wrong. Absolutely correct.
He's always correct. He's always cool. What's an author self-insert? I don't understand. Anyway, who here likes gambling? I bet a lot of people here like gambling on account of the minimap raid. You know what they should definitely put in more games? Real slots RNG. That's right. No safeties, no nothing. You keep in you keep putting one dollar in until you get the roll you want. Next roll, I can... I've never had this happen, like, faster than four or five minutes. Amazing. That rules. Well, that's that's going on. That's going on the the pre-stream rotation for sure. What's in Metal? Oh, yeah, you're right. I should let Metal Gear have some... Nope. Metal Gear is not willing to take aim because there's no enemy data. Anyway, the Metal menu allows you to... Um, to give Metal Gear control of your gun. That's right, Metal Gear. No, it's fine. Metal Gear likes it. Metal Gear likes killing those particular robots.
So you do level up your gun skill, and it's per gun, which is why I'm willing to do this fight. Like, this is a time loss, but... The tanks at least give you skill still. Probably be using Circuit Killer on these guys. Just to cut out the um, the animations. Not because I'm afraid of them like hurting me at this point. How much money do I have? I do have to be careful about that. Oh no, I've got lots of headroom. Yeah, if we go over $65,535, the tax man notices and uh, gives us a tax of all of our money. Oh yeah, it is time to do just a tiny little grind here. Laser types don't work on these guys for some reason. I forgot about that. There were two on top of each other, which is pretty bad because I was planning on using uh, some curatives in between fights. Thank you. 
Just be glad the limit is not 32,767. I mean, I am. Particularly due to the fact that if I ever broke that, if that was the limit, uh, then I would immediately have negative money. And that's the worst kind of money. I use the stick bomb now. Nope. Yeah, really just don't don't use bombs on these guys. Giving me like 750 per per life, aren't they? Yeah, that's that's slightly worrying. I should be pretty careful about that. Not in danger yet. But I will be. I need to heal this turn. And I should really just be liberally rubbing um, Circuit Killer on this fight.
I gotta use Serpent Killer way more often. Even in fights when I'm shooting, it speeds them up because the enemy's shots don't play through. Let's go trigger this dialogue. I mean, when you put it that way, I feel really bad about it. Thank you for the good luck on shooting a lobotomized dude. That is one of the things that I will be doing very soon. In my defense, I'm pretty sure he's a, uh, a snatcher. Take away some of these thousands, they are very scary to hold. Wild ants, no, there there are no aliens in this game, mostly because at the time Hideo Kojima had not yet seen the X-Files. Okay, let's, let's run through a little bit more and see if I can gain a couple more strength. It's actually substantially faster as an animation. All right, Greyhounder wins.
that's right, and Blaster's animations speed up if you fire at a non-target. Yeah, this guy just wins. This is just a better... Just a better gun. Now will Sticky Bomb or Stick Bomb do something good? It's not the worst. That's what, three? Three. Three on tanks. Probably don't use it on regular dudes. You. One, two, three. Right, you seem resistant to So the, the low riding guys we can use bombs on. Which is good because I need to switch to medium bombs soon. Just the shop swarmer, huh? Shintok, thank you for the good luck. Oh, I bet I bet it's because of my skill with the Greyhounder. Versus a shop swarmer. Twenty-four or twenty-six candles? God, I hope it really is just twenty-four. Yeah, I'm hoping that those last two are, in fact, not forced to be the last two. My plan is to walk in Snuff one candle, walk out. I don't think Splitstock Gold is active anymore. The person who's responsible for it keeps on telling me who they are, and I keep on forgetting it, and I feel really bad about it. Fact of the matter is, I think it is incredibly kind, and I really, really love that that was uh, done as... I mean, to be clear, it was done kind of as a goof. Um, but still, it's it, it was very kind. I feel bad for forgetting who was responsible for it. Anyway, don't worry. Wesley Crumpton is definitely a red split. Because I am... taking a little bit of time to level up here. But this is a spot which, uh is just giving Buku experience. And also enough money that I have to be really careful not to re-overflow my money value. But mostly experience. Let's look at this. It's 
So now's a great time to catch up on, on my chat. How's everybody doing? Am I gonna have to go and spend some soon? Yeah, thankfully I have to stock up on um, circuit killers. got the flu? I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm glad to give you something cozy. Uh, I am not shooting the eyes first. I am shooting uh, the top of the head. And it just so happens that shooting also the eyes is not, um, not detracting from it, basically. You woke up with four hours of sleep, worked, you were watching Matt. Next thing you know, you were, you woke up and you were here. Welcome. This is like Mahjong in that when you're playing it, you can kill a man. Pretty soon you're going to see me kill a man. I do like to do a murder. Just a little hello for 10 minutes before bed. Metanoff, it's fantastic to see you. I'm happy to report so far the run going pretty well. Yeah, just a little murder. I'm pretty sure that this guy, Wesley, pretty sure, pretty sure this guy, he's running a church. He seems kind of shady. I think he, he might be a, uh, he might be a snatcher. I legitimately almost said that he might be a replicant, which is very funny. like strength 50 before I continue. It's true. I do have faith in my shot stormer. It's not that it's the best gun. It's actually not the best gun that I have. But this particular enemy uh, is well defended against everything but bullet type damage. So I'm here to provide that.
doing sewing? Hell yeah. What are you sewing? Something super cool, I'm sure. a scene? Sounds super cool to me. Doing a commission for a guy who did a huge tip last month? Hell yeah. One of your rendition of Cthulhu. Oh, that sounds super cool. I can't wait to see that. better than you yet? No, I'm not. Yeah, that rules. Deserved, frankly. Anybody who's not familiar with uh, Dr. Dubs's art, A, Dr. Dubs is about to just post a link to, I assume, a commission page. I keep on just showing up on his stream and you get to watch him do art live, which on its own is worth money. But also you can give him money and on the other side of that exchange you end up with art, which is just really fucking cool. What I'm trying to say here is everybody here should give dubs money in exchange for I almost said goods and services, but really just services. Said, how's it going? Yeah, don't worry. There's there's no pure gold this split though. Uh, I traded a lot of time here for most likely a lot of time later on. is, and I say this 
without exaggeration whatsoever. Easily one of my favorite artists. Just period. That's true, he is also good at Doom. Well, that's the rudest thing you could have done. Well, if you don't die this turn, I guess I'll use... No? Say. I definitely tried to provide a cozy stream. I am, and I want to make it clear, I'm only not going to read that into... I'm, I'm only not reading that into, uh, into the VOD because it seems, to me, just real self-centered to do so. But I will say, that is among the kindest things that somebody has said about the way that I tend to approach streaming, and it means the world to read. Thank you. Starbird, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in, everyone. People often, like, say in a kind of joking way, like, oh, this is this is a, you know, a little gym, or this is a not super well-known game, or whatever. This is genuinely a very not very well-known game. Um... Most people who would be It is possible that people might be uh, familiar with Snatcher because it came out in Europe and North America on uh, the Sega CD or Mega CD if you're European. Fantastic game. Great great story, just really enjoyable. Um Obvious result of Hideo Kojima being allowed to watch Blade Runner. Um, this is what happens when the original Snatcher, uh, which was uh, PC-88, I think? MSX and PC-88, 98, one of those. Uh, visual novel. Um, when he was told, hey, why don't you make that also a JRPG instead? I do have to talk to people. I've heard of it, but this is the first time you're seeing it. It is very fun. Um, it definitely has some real... Uh, dungeon design. Oh yeah, there's a there's a spider skull. Several of them. Can't miss it. Please let me in. There we 
go. Talk to the lady, get kicked out of the church, talk to the lady, shoot the clergyman. Yeah, game's fun. I have triggered the plot thing, so now I should be able to walk down, be told to walk back. Why? Why in the world is it this guy? I need to talk to this guy still? have no idea what it is that is not triggering the next plot flag. There we go. It's talking to the members. Sure, why not? Uh, I don't think this game is the origin of Roko's Basilisk. That's not good.
Anyway, hey, just in case anybody here wasn't aware, this game, made by Hideo Kojima. Also, this game slaps, absolutely. Could we have thrown one of those paralysis bombs and seen it not work? No, that would be too smart. The only way to progress the plot is to kill a dude. You're gonna... There we go. Yeah, unfortunately, disc swapping a lot is part of the run, uh, which gives a definite advantage to emulation here. Overkill syndrome. Welcome in. How's it going? Gillian will get back to, to Junker Duty and get promoted? Yes, correct. Well, I don't know about the promotion. Like, I'm not sure that there's much of a career path for a runner in Junker. It would, it would really be a bummer if we had to do anything with all these candles. Anyway, did you know that there's 24 of them in this church? It's, it's wild. Oh, I have to talk to the person who tells me that I can hear through the ceiling. Right, of course. Of course I do. Why wouldn't that be a plot trigger that I have to explicitly hit the flag for? Not talking to the NPC makes the ceiling thicker? Yeah, that's true.
think when I exit the church is when I decided to split. Just so that I don't have to compete with also doing the disc swap dance. Come back for guns in a sec. That's a steal for North America? Yeah. Laser type. My Fox laser type. Ever stolen North America? No. All right, here's what I'm going to do go into the church, go immediately to the back so that I can go into the chapel. Kill the candles on the left side on my way out. Hopefully that gives me... Yeah, 
Yeah, I shouldn't be too... Too gun with these, I guess. So I do have to make it all the way to Queen. Set me in. Thank you. So I'm hoping that triggers the flag. Also, oh no, they killed everyone. How could they? But yeah, I'm hoping that that triggers the flag and we are good. How you do that?
Gunsmurgruff, how's it going? I did. I I shot that poor robot with a gun four times. Also, I threw a bomb at that robot. Junkers are truly a menace. Please don't talk to me. No, I didn't want to talk to you. My hope is that, so I went into there, which spawns the altar room from the context of, hey, you've got to put out candles. And my hope is that that is good enough. but I really don't wanna. These are such piss ants. Going into the main room to the south did not reset those candles, which is why I'm crossing my fingers that it's good enough to have spawned it in from the south and then gone outside and around to actually uh, to do those candles before I've got to the third floor. in a very please god please let that be enough sort of way. I don't want to play with you too. Goodbye. There's two there. Yeah, before the game tells you that there's a candle puzzle, you can you can reset candles by leaving any way, and it turns out uh, going north is is one of those ways. I've already been here. This is just three candle room? Yeah, all right. Time to go this way. Ignore me. Don't want to use it.
But yeah, Faizu is correct here. Um, you can accidentally reset the candles, but thankfully it doesn't happen until... Or it doesn't, near as I've ever been able to tell, it doesn't happen after you spawn in all of the, uh, the enemies. I don't think they're doing their best. Let's save some grenades here, so I can only hold 50 of them. This way first. Australian. How's it going? Yeah, you got back just in time for candles. Did you know there's 24 of them? I didn't have to go this way. I had to go over here. I should really be keeping count. I'm not. You're doing pretty all right. I'm thrilled to hear that, friend. I got so lucky. I got so lucky. Oh no, you, you I definitely want to play with. Hello. Thank you. 
How long would a casual playthrough of this take? Um... I'm gonna hazard a guess, and I'm gonna say probably in the... You're being real rude. I should heal up soon. Anyway, probably like 20 hours, thereabouts. Yeah, uh, with maps, 20 hours. Um, Yeah, 20 to 30 feels right. Yes, definitely less time than Metal Gear Solid 3 or 4. This is an MSX game. This was a remarkably long MSX game. What's my skill? Am I at 25% yet? Forty-five percent. That's quick. It is MSX2, yes. I don't believe it requires a 2+. plus. The computer that I bought off eBay, and therefore the machine that I'm emulating, though, is an MSX2+. plus. But I'm pretty sure that the plus uh, was not required for this game. Using these guys to get my skill up is uh, part of what I wanted to do here.
How's my money looking? Oh yeah, I've got 10,000 more to go. I'm safe. So walk back to the uh, chapel room, then walk around. That's sufficient. Please go slower so that you can comprehend what's going on in this game. I'm sorry, friend. This is a Kojima game. You're not going to do that. Time to grab one of my maps. I need sewer map, please. You are not too late for the Kojima zone. No, no, you are not. Don't worry, that's coming. Welcome in, Shin the Merchant. Yeah, don't worry. You'll you'll understand when we get there. Thank you. 
No, come back! I I need your experience. That's rude. How would you like that? Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? Chat getting all upset over a couple of little puns? Come on, you can't act like everything is so black and white. Was a respectful goddammit. Okay, fair point. Fair point. <laughs> Should really start throwing these. No, 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 no worries, Akoshi. somehow managing to redeem minimap channel point rewards in my chat. That's weird. But I agree. Joke funny. On my Discord, there's not so much of a queue as a random group of people who've decided that it would be fun to play Mahjong together. before I can break your antenna. I hate that.
Does Mahjong still have a tutorial? It does, but it's mostly a reachy tutorial for people who know other Mahjong variants. Uh, yeah, the, the, best, the best way that I can recommend is hang out in Minimat's chat. He's really good at explaining stuff. Um, if you're looking for a, like, genuine introduction to Mahjong, yeah, tons of people hanging out in my chat are super into helping people learn how to play. Me included. Okay, I need to heal. Also, that was way too much money. That's way more money than I wanted to collect. Yeah, I'm actually starting to get just a tiny, tiny bit close to scary levels of money again. You started watching the video where Minimap taught me and Ty, but the audio balancing is quite bad at the start. I'm sorry. I don't know if that's my fault. I would hope not, but... What do I dump money on once I'm full of uh, meds and grenades? Well, thankfully, I keep on using grenades, so it's easy to continue buying them. Um, other than that, I will be purchasing, uh, once I hit 70 strength, I'll be purchasing my next gun for 15,000. This guy just takes two and dies. Not my level. No, there are two more guns that I want. One of them is 9 range, one of them is 1 range. They both do just ridiculous amounts of damage. Yeah, range just means reticle size. kind of afraid of taking too many more fights right now until I can dump some money. What's wrong with money? Uh, if I get more than 65,535, I end up with zero. The problem with that is that I still have uses for my money. At this point, we should be fine, though. Is there a better grenade than the Destructo Ball? There is. 
can only hold 20 of them at a time. What does the flare do? I'll be using it soon. Uh, you use flares to produce light. It's a part of a pair of trousers. It makes you look cool in a disco. Jeff, how's it going? Seventy in time. I've got to dump my cash. I mean, we're not to the Kojima zone yet, but we will be soon. There's only like one and a half more dungeons before the Kojima zone. No, I'm I'm unfortunately not gonna not gonna be doing the reset run thing today. It would be funny, but this is still kind of like feeling out the run. Yeah, 70. Yeah, I think it I think it's the sort of thing that'll be more funny with um with runs that are a little bit more developed. Alright, let's go hit 70, come back, buy the gun. Mm, no, I'll I'll go through the dungeon. I don't need I don't need the 70 gun for that. Kinda. I really want to hit... I want to hit 90 before the Kojima zone, basically. It's a problem. Yeah, once people know about the Kojima zone, yeah, right after Candles will be a very funny time to do it.
killing this guy. Really more than anything, I just want to get down. The Agent Zero with no penalty backseat saying, do not reset the run. No danger of that, don't worry. We don't have to kill Robot Lizard, but every kill is worth experience. Stop moving. Now you're out of space. Standard skill with math, that's good. Okay, we are circuit killing way more than I have been. for being funny, yeah. That's that's the other purpose for it. Oh no, I did not want to double back. Oh. The worst. enjoy the enemy design here. A very like anglerfish sort of aesthetic and it's really really cool. I see you. I don't want to talk to you. If you don't light things up, you do still see the attack flashing, which tells you which side you should be attacking. But the game does have a hard gate on not having, uh, not having a flare. 
which you'll see in a bit. Nice. Yeah, these robots absolutely would trick you if you've never seen the design before. You would assume that you're shooting at them. It's a cool design. I'm almost out of the dark area and into the spot with substantially better uh, experience and... Uh, just time economy for getting any sort of gains, which is good. Trinitronity, welcome to the channel, friend. I, uh, I'll let you in on, on the secret. My chap backseats constantly, and really, anybody who's not just being kind of obnoxious and an asshole, there's not going to be a penalty. So please... Make sure that you read that appropriately. It does say no penalty back seat, but the way that you should be reading that is funny back seat. Back seat, parenthetical joking.
Crater 5 with the no penalty backseat. You think I should do the run faster? God, you're right. I'm looking forward to finding out that somebody who's actually good at video games has done this run in like two hours. Including Kojima time. Kate with no penalty backseat. I should compliment my gameplay. No. Rallium with the backseat. God, everybody knows how to play this game but me. I shouldn't use those right now. Hey, it's cozy here. Genuinely having a cozy atmosphere where people can just hang out and enjoy watching some video games is like 98% of what I'm going for. That's not true. It's like 50% of what I'm going for. Honestly, the, the idea that community is better when everybody is supporting each other in various ways is is the other half. I feel very fortunate because I've ended up with a community that is filled with super smart, super talented people and I get to I get to watch people who are exceptionally talented and exceptionally good at the things that they do supporting each other and helping each other grow and it's so fucking awesome. That was less funny and, like, kind of more real talk, so, you know. Whatever kind of joke you think is funny, you can you can just insert that joke into whatever I said. Joke funny? Thank you. Thank you for bringing Minimat's channel points rewards to my chat. I can't afford to use more of these because I do have to leave eventually, and there's a boss fight coming up. Ducks? Ducks are funny. so much faster to use junkers high in a fight than to go through the inventory. Thank god we're, we're at the, the part where there's actual good fights again. Also, Snatcher. It's not a creepy baby robot. It's a creepy robot what had its torso ripped off. 
Nice strength and nice speed? Yeah. Not for long, but yeah. one of the guns I can purchase. Sis Panda, you have an MSX emote? Hell yeah. That rules. So close to not having to fight this guy. There's no dodging him.
nice. You got to a spot where you can take a break? Glad to hear it, Tubbs. I'm perfectly fine with this. Tanks I want to fight. The floaty guys I don't. One of my favorite computers I've ever owned was an Amiga 500. I don't think that you're going to start too much drama with an Amiga. Right? It's still circuit kill. Mac greater than Amiga? I mean, Apple purchasing Amiga definitely worked to make sure that that was true. Did they not? My understanding is that Apple bought, like, either Commodore outright or, um, no, this is, this is before next. My understanding is that Apple was a major part of the huge downturn in, um, Commodore's quality. Yeah, I also, my, my very first computer was uh, a C64 as well. Yeah, Amiga was made by Commodore.
I keep convincing myself that I can tell which one of those is real. But then I keep I keep getting it wrong sometimes. So it's like I don't think I actually can. But I've convinced myself at this point. Am I psychic 50% of the time? I mean, it, I, I don't know what the actual statistics are. I, I'm pretty sure that whether it's the front or back sprite, whether it's the sprite that is occluding or the sprite that is occluded, I think it stays the same. I think. And if I'm right about that, what that means is that based on the first shot that I will, you know, coin flip, I just always go left. Based on the first shot, I should be able to figure out which one's the real one for the rest of them. Shinshuo is a hard fight. Yeah, the naked snatchers, they just they're happy to eat. They're happy to be here. hit the mouth one more time safely. Awesome. Accuracy is at six, so I can drop you to zero. Yeah, damage is scary at this point, and I have to face four Naked Snatchers and then also Chin Shuo. And this is kind of how it goes. They just auto-replenish. So the idea is you completely... I am in bad shape. I should heal. So you completely blind. Um, the guy on the right, which doesn't make it so... It never hits you, but usually you're safe. And then you just always take out the guy on the left and... 
you only have to basically fight 1.1 Snatchers at a time that way. One up should be Chin Shuo. Yes, so just like other enemies that you hit uh, drop their defense through, um, through being attacked by you, as you get attacked, uh, you also lose defense.
I know, Benson, who could have seen this coming? Such a twist. How's it going, Barney? I mean, that's true. Other than the streams where I do, I pretty much never hack. And, and also, my day job. But, but other than that, like, never. It's a crime. into a fight immediately. Or not. Okay, cool. Bye. I went into the wrong room. Uh, this is MSX2. Yeah, undoubtedly. I have a strong belief that I have yet to have shown incorrect. That I can pretty accurately judge what somebody's character is based on the way that they treat people in retail, people doing food service, people, people doing work that makes their lives easier. so much for the prime sub enjoy the badge enjoy the emotes I'm super happy if if the stream is comfy and you're enjoying it that much Yeah, moving somewhere where people actually get paid a living wage and tip culture is not a thing definitely took a lot of getting used to. Well, I will say this. 
I appreciate the sub. It means a ton. Like, that communicates pretty clearly, hey, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this enough to, to take an action, which is huge. You are, you are asserting that you're enjoying this at least. How much does... I just realized that I, um... I started talking about subscriptions back when Netflix was like seven bucks a month and I and I used to be able to say roughly as much as Netflix, but I think Netflix is like really expensive now, right? Anyway, it's appreciated. It sends a message and it feels real good to receive that message. Thank you. be very funny if I died here and this is how the run ended. required to do at least two months of retail work or community service, you wonder if people would be more kind and understanding overall. Um, I don't think so. And I will justify that. Having done community service looks good on a transcript that you're sending to a university. There is a huge incentive placed on doing some community service, there's rewards for it. When I was in university, so many of the people that I knew had done community service and listed it on their transcripts and were at least themselves convinced that that, that contributed positively to them being accepted. Now, I think that that's a good thing, but I think it's a pretty clear indicator that having worked community service, having done community service, doesn't positively correlate to, like, being a kind person in one's day-to-day -day life. I would like to be wrong there. If there's good evidence that I am, please let me know, because I would love to change my, my opinion.
No worries, no worries. And I mean, I have. I have done community service, although it was not as a... Um, hey, let's help me get into college thing. I grew up pretty poor. And it was only because of lots of dumb luck and chances that I didn't deserve that I ended up learning computers, learning programming, learning security, stuff like that. And the best thing that I could do, to, to my sensibilities at least, is pay that forward. Make sure that kids in underrepresented uh, areas, which Let's be real, 99% of the time correlates positively with underrepresented communities. Um, also get that, uh, that chance. So I had a lot of uh, chances through my employer back when I was in the States uh, to do outreach and teaching. Um, I've had employers sponsor... Uh, UIL programming stuff. I've had employer sponsor UIL. Well, I don't think it's UIL once it's at the university level. I forget what it's called at that point, but um, security competitions. Um, and getting to coach kids who are excited to learn is one of the coolest things in the world, I gotta say. Why would I say that I didn't deserve them? Um, for the same reason, I don't I don't know if it's actually Einstein who said it or if it's a uh, apocryphal attribution. Uh, but he had, at least it's commonly uh, asserted that he has uh, said something along the lines that however brilliant he is meant to be, his greatest fear is that uh, equal genius has come and gone. Um, and I, I forget the exact... He, he, he had a euphemism for basically, hey, America, you know how you had slaves? There were probably people just as smart as me there. Um, Finding it to like customer service style work. I still don't think so. Um, because I think that it it presupposes that the problem is that people are are just not exposed to the idea that it's stressful to work customer support service or customer facing uh, roles. My suspicion, I could be completely wrong, but I, I suspect that more than anything it's the fact that people can get away with being kind of shitty to other people. Like that if there was social consequences, that would that would be the thing that fixes it. Um Consider, one of the biggest things that got people to stop smoking wasn't awareness, it wasn't uh, anything like that. It's, it's the point where people stop being allowed to go into restaurants. The point where... Oops. 
the point where social repercussions for smoking started occurring, that's the thing that made people change their habits. Yeah, having managers take the side of the people that they're supposed to be working with. If you had a... If you had a business that would kick people out for being rude or disruptive, and that became the norm, that would do a lot more, I think. To, uh, to bringing that that compassion that there's no there's no disagreement among us I think that it should exist come on two levels and I should be at 90 which is exactly where I want to be because I can buy the last two guns. I'm not gonna get 90. Nah, no, not before I leave, Queen. Oops. You're, he you're headed now? It's true, we are we are heading directly for the Kojima zone. Why is it called the Kojima zone? Because this is a Hideo Kojima game, and he has certain proclivities. This is, this is Hideo Kojima. Uh, the reason that there's a metal uh, option is because you can allow your little buddy, your little helper, Metal Gear Mark II Petite Metal, take over the aiming for you. Watch. Take it away, Metal. Huh? Take it away, Metal Gear. Unfortunately, Metal Gear also chooses the weapon. Kojima's involvement with Toki Making Memorial? Is that right? I know Iga was involved.
What happened? Oh, I can actually answer that question. I can tell you what happened. Hideo Kojima got big enough that people stopped being able to tell him no. That's what happened. Oh, you just mean the Tokimeki series, not like Tokimeki Memorial, the original game. Okay. Did not need to do the second one. I was trying to leave the menu, thank you. This was a mistake. I didn't need to be grinding down here. What do you mean, Rip? He's talking, he's not dead. He's got a lower half, look at his sprite.
Ah, oh, rip. Maybe he wouldn't have died if you weren't all so, like, pessimistic about his dying. Yeah, honestly, if we just never showed up, he would have stayed alive. Now, pardon me, I've got some money that is very scary to hold on to. I need to get rid of at least some of it. Way guns quick. Actually, I'm pretty sure that those mediums are never going to get used, but... Anyway, that's why they added that character, because they realized, oh, we're going to merc Gramps. And that's going to be real bad for the whole Gramps is our RPG shop thing. Actually, hey, how's a missile launcher against you? Not as good as I would have hoped. You're not allowed to buy guns until you're able to use them. Mr. Cab, how's it going? Not what I meant to use, but, you know, fair. Possibly good. Glad to hear that. Actually, 
ask again after Tuesday? Well, that means I'm gonna have my fingers crossed right up until Tuesday. Until Wednesday. This is bad. Please stop being alive. It would be funny if this killed you. That was funny, I was right. Alright, one more level up and I can buy the last gun. One more level up and I stop being anywhere near as stressed as I am right now. I guess I can take us to the Kojima Zone because there's one last warp home. This game's actually really fun. So this is SD Snatcher, which was a JRPG made by Kojima. Um, never released outside of Japan. Geez, where am I? Okay, now I know where I am. I am playing a really good uh, fan translation of it called Project Melancholia. Oh no. I need to use these really liberally. I'm gonna be able to purchase as many as I need in a moment. And it's better just to keep these fights quick. Uh, I don't know that... I don't know whether or not Slow Beef helped bring it into existence. I don't know about that, but... He's definitely done a lot of uh, Let's Plays of Snatcher and Snatcher-related uh, stuff. Including this game. This is a game. This is Snatcher.
We do have a drugs menu. Your guns don't go through shields, they eventually destroy them. No, it's not that others wander in. It's that certain uh, certain ones are able to call in reinforcements. Yeah, this is a part of the game where damage starts getting, like, super scary. through it twice. There it is. Torso. Thank you. 
Oh, geez, yeah, California was getting just walloped by, uh, by that weather, right? I heard something vaguely about it, but I don't know the details, but sounds like things are less, uh, awful, so I'm glad to hear that. Gorilla to the left. That sucks. Nice. Nice. Yeah, there was no dodge in that one. Benson. Thank you. 
you've got to get groceries, but you want to stick around long enough to see what the Kojima Zone is? Well, you're gonna like it. You're gonna like the Kojima Zone. It's coming up. Kojima Zone has started. First, time to go spend all of my money. This this is the place where Slow Beef yelled, fuck you, Hideo Kojima, correct? Don't worry, that part's coming up very soon. This game is so good. It's such a good game. No, wait, what's the other word? It's such a game. It's a game of all time. Oh, you, then you, I guess you. have another gun just so I have amp. No, I'm going to get so much ammo. That's right, of all the games, this is one of them. What do the mines do? You put them right next to a flying enemy. And then you convince a flying enemy to fly into them. Sounds bad? If by bad you mean really not useful, then yes. Correct. Oh yeah, this is definitely this is definitely where the pay to win emote applies. Anyway, I have more armament on me than most militaries, so time to go to a carnival. Are there clowns at the carnival? I called it a carnival, didn't I? Oh look, there's the snatcher with the balloon. Okay, this is where the one change that I know that Project Melancholia made is. They uh, activated. They activated a, um, I can't go that way. 
that door is active. And it wasn't active in the original game. It takes you to a zone that you can't leave. Yeah, weird decision, but I mean, it's cut content. They should have added an exit. I agree. came expecting something about stealing memory cards and you arrived at Disney? That's Kojima. Look, Hideo Kojima has been on his bullshit for a very long time. nothing else from him and now we go get the phone call Metal Gear said that yeah near the UFO machine. Meant to see the East Gate, maybe? It's almost certainly just somebody that I have to talk to to trigger the phone call. I bet I'm supposed to talk to all the pandas or something. I don't know what, what causes the phone call here. There is a phone call. Because, of course, that's the best way 
You know, like they say, tell don't show. Oh yeah, this is a Christmas game, by the way. If anybody was wondering, if anybody was looking for a new game to play at Christmas. There's one more panda over here. Hey everybody, if you ever have a kid, definitely teach them that line and make sure that they share that line every chance they get. Please let me continue the plot. Did Kojima pick the SD aesthetic? Or was that a decision from above? I honestly don't know. Hey, if anybody here knows precisely how to trigger the phone call I'm supposed to get. By all means, I would love to know. Just consider it free time save. It's only, it's only free time save if I can actually figure out what the trigger is. Is there somebody else to talk to? In my casual playthrough, I did not need uh, to um, to leave the area, so I don't think that's necessary. Yeah. 
sooner or later here, I'm going to get a phone call. Gate, I guess, again. Have we not found him near? The UFOs. I thought that I found him near the UFOs. him here and I found him in a trash can Malico Fox, how's it going? We're in the Kojima zone, which unfortunately is also the how do I trigger this plot event zone. I have I have found him, and I keep trying to tell you that. Okay, so where am I supposed to find him? Like, all the places. Yeah, northeast corner of the UFO ride. That's roughly where I got the call. The achoo thing doesn't make sense if you haven't played the original Snatcher. So much free time save. Once I figure out where He's supposed to be. So where, at what point do you find him near the UFOs? Because I think I have. By UFOs, do you mean near the Godzilla poster? Yeah, I've talked to the panda east of the UFOs. I can do it again, though.
Yeah, unfortunately, I'm I'm trapped in the Kojima zone. Yeah, I'm guessing near the UFOs means the event near the Godzilla, which I did trigger. Triggered the trash can, triggered the cups. Could something have glitched out? Yes. Time to ride the train back and forth. Let's see if that fixes it. Yeah, on the next one, this is going to be solid gold for sure. Okay, who have I not talked to here? There's not that many people to talk to. Hey, by the way, did you know that Hideo Kojima made other games? Many flags are already set. That guy is extremely missing his kid. I don't think that I talked to that kid before. What saved me from hell? I don't know. kid might have been the last flag.
We didn't steal a memory card. It was explicitly given to us. That's different. It's nowhere near as cool when it's just given to you. I have done any crime to get this one. I guess you do just have to talk to everyone. So that's good. This really is a whole Kojima-ass plot? Oh, Millie Mentalist. Oh, just you wait. Kojima hasn't even gotten started on his bullshit yet. Still curious when Beef lost it at him? Not yet. Alright, now it's time for I Extremely Stare at Map Zone. I got through this the first time that I played this game without using a map, and I will never do that again.
Yeah, I love step routes. They're the best. Oh, hey, that's one of those enemies what made Slow Beef say, fuck you, Hideo Kojima. Express. Yeah, Midnight Express is a really good name for a gun. Oh, are you not are you not into the Kojima zone? Don't worry, after the mirror maze, we get a different flavor of the Kojima zone soon.
I know what you're all thinking. You're thinking, wow, this looks fun. This looks like you'd have such a fun time doing this. I am here to tell you, you're wrong. You're wrong. You would be... You would be having a time where you start considering purchasing stock in graph paper companies. This got cut from the original Snatcher. This was supposed to be part of it, apparently. What is strength supposed to do, given that all my attacks are guns? Well, as everybody knows, the harder you pull the trigger, the harder the bullet comes out, the harder it shoots the guy in the face. Right now, I'm pulling the trigger roughly 97. When I level up, maybe I'll pull it 98 or 99. Still 97. Oh, don't worry, I'm, I'm planning on getting some rest at some point. We're very close to the end of the game.
genuinely not sure how I'm dealing health damage. Cool, great. Are we free from mirrors? Yes. I'll, I'll tell you right now, yes we are. Are we free from Kojima? No. Not even a little bit. Is that the one place where there's health damage? Yep, that's gonna be the one spot with health damage. Okay, cool. If you run out of gyro, you have to spend several turns until you overcome the uh, paralysis. Yeah, I don't want to fight those guys. Just getting through. Fighting as few of these as possible is going to be good. up is good. Thank you. 
Yeah, but it's a murderous floor buffing robot. Important to keep that in mind. This is iRobot cross Boston Dynamics. I just looked at my health. Was a good idea that I did some drugs just then? Yeah, probably. Midnight Express is actually just better on this fight. Kojima Zone. Thank you. 
far left, and then down. Oh, I'm trapped. There's no way I'm getting around these two guys. It's almost slick. I just shot his crotch off? Well, you know. He won't miss it where he's going. Stop shooting me with pain. Thank you.
entertain his dreams, do drugs, shoot robots, play with clowns. Is that really playing with clowns? Is that is that how you would describe what I'm doing on screen? I feel like I would go with disassemble clowns. my mouse. Need to move my map. There we go. Cool. Is this clowning around? Yes. That, that's that's an accurate description. How did you spawn in there, buddy? Yeah, Needle is probably more effective. It's just fairly annoying when they move. It's fairly annoying when they move. That's what I'm saying. I wish that they would just let me shoot them. They just let me shoot them some, it would solve all of our problems. They would no longer be being shot after a while. And I would be happy too.
this is very weird. Yeah, you're still in the Kojima zone. Shintok, how's it going? Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, everyone. I'm Tina. I play a lot of video games. Right now, the video game that I'm playing is SD Snatcher. Boat's here. You're all, you're all here just in time for... what I think is maybe the first time that Kojima really does a Kojima. Everyone here probably thinks that they have experienced the Kojima zone, but they haven't. Not yet. They will, though. That'll fill you up even if uh, you can't completely empty the chest, which is good. Oh, also, if you were treasure hunting, it's important to know that monsters in a box are a thing. Uh, <laughs> you see, it's a funny joke. Yeah, that joke doesn't come across uh, in the speedrun where I'm not bothering opening the boxes. So I had to make sure that you all understood why that joke is funny. One of the rare cases where explaining a joke actually does work. Okay, we can finally, finally, finally rescue Jamie. What does SD mean? Super deformed. Which is the way that uh, chibi was expressed from like the 80s until sometime in, I think, the 2000s. And like SD Gundam was a thing. Uh, just when you see SD in... Um, a Japanese title it that just means super deformed. Okay, so dropping speed so that I can use the needle pointer seems to be the the play here.
Does BS also stand for something? Uh, that actually... So, in the context of video games, that stands for Broadcast Satellity. So those were games that were broadcast by the St. Giga Corporation uh, for the Nintendo Satellaview. these Julias has the VIP card, and she will say something different during the start of the fight. Yeah, and as was pointed out in, in chat also, uh, BS can stand for Hideo Kojima. Do you know which one has the card? She says something different at the start of the fight. knock on a random door, and maybe you're right, maybe you're wrong. Yeah, Gillian's having a great day here, just mowing through an entire room of... Ah, oh, here we go. Of robots that look precisely like his wife. Despite the um, scary music, this snatcher doesn't hit any harder than the other ones. Is it always the same Robo Wife, or is it random? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's random. She was in a very different position this time compared to my casual playthrough. stretch. Time to finally go meet the mastermind behind all of this. Oh yeah, also this guy. battle Kojima in this game? Um, spiritually, yes.
the wood will come in. Yeah, this is uh, not the most well-known game that Kojima's made, so it's not a huge surprise uh, if you've never seen it before. Oh, this was a mistake. Please don't hit me. Yep, it's a JRPG of Snatcher. Defense is finally falling. Price, how's it going? So that's the big, hey, you've actually been leveling up, right? Gate. Uh, trying to do all this without the money exploit definitely caused my uh, my casual playthrough to be many hours longer. I would say my casual playthrough was not a sub-8 a little bit north of that.
uh, like 2025, I think. Something along those lines. Of gameplay. Um, I'm looking for drugs. That corner caught me. So one of the big problems with routing right now is that I'm always cognizant of future strong encounters, which makes me really hesitant to use even my circuit killers, even though they will drastically speed up these fights. Once, once I know, like, my budget for boss fights, it'll make routing resource usage elsewhere substantially easier, yeah. you're ready. It's time for us to all go together to the true Kojima Zone. Now for everybody who's been here with me for the long haul so far, like, don't wander off too far, but you do have a chance to stretch your legs if you need to refill your water, which I desperately need to do. I'm going to be right back. This is unskippable, can't speed it up, and it doesn't require input. 6.49 is when it started. We've got a or, uh... Yeah, 6.49 is when it started. Just remember that. That's an important number.
I'm back. Hey everybody, it's been three minutes of Kojima so far. I will also point out, this is, this is fun to note, Gillian Seed has the exact same expository responses as Solid Snake does. He just picks out one or two words, or maybe even a key phrase, and just repeats it back, but with a question mark. It's great. Kojima only knows how to write one plot. I think it's very important we understand this. At this point, I can't convince you that Solid Snake isn't a Snatcher. Yeah, that's fair, actually. <clears throat> I love Elijah's little bitchy face here. And I love how many people are, like, looking at him smugly. Yes, correct. He was cock-blocked so hard that he became evil. Janine, how's it going? Welcome to Kojima's bullshit. As far as I'm aware, this is the first time that Kojima put just a full-ass movie in a video game. 
which makes it, you know, historically interesting, if not important. <clears throat> yeah, Kojima wanted to print a secret message and heat activated scent on the discs. Specifically, he wanted the discs to smell like blood when they got hot so that players of the game would feel like they were at a real crime scene. I don't know how apocryphal that is, but that is the story. I know that's the thing! It's like... It's so Kojima that it feels like it could be fake. Yep, it's... This was an MSX2 game. They are rendering text at the full speed of a Zilog Z80. There's no button presses that speed it up. There's nothing that you can do to make this move faster. Yep, we started at 6.49 on the clock. No, unfortunately, no way to route around it unless we can figure out how to go out of bounds and never have to deal with this plot point, which would be very nice. Lieberton, how's it going? Yeah, we're, we're, we're in the most Kojima zone right now. Yeah, in the original game, the plan was to snatch world leaders, VIPs, important people, rich people. Um, but by the time that SD Snatcher was being written, uh, the plan had changed somewhat. And now the plan was to snatch the world's population. Entire countries. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I, I zoned out for a moment in terms of the uh, the exposition. Did it did it stop being Lucifer Alpha? <laughs> did they did they change the name of the virus very briefly? Ah, okay. while I was stretching my legs. Fair enough. Oh yeah, if they were talking about Catastrophe, Catastrophe is the name of the event where Lucifer Alpha was released into the atmosphere and killed 50% of the world's population. Oh yeah, RAO 11. I don't actually, I mean, it's been a long time since I've played Snatcher. Um, I don't remember RAO 11 being mentioned in at least the Sega CD official translation of Snatcher. So yeah, I, I have no idea what that one's about. But yeah, I do, I do remember being confused by that when I played casually. I'll tell you right now, Google, not helpful on that one. Turns out three letters, two numbers, really popular handle. Just 
on every internet site. What happened to Gillian's son? You're sure they're getting there? Yeah. Yeah, they are getting there. No, no, it's not Sting. Random is way dumber than that. Yeah, remember, Gillian and Jamie were in cryosleep for 50 years. So their kid would have to be 50-something at least. We're at 15 minutes. I like how basically Elijah just totally ignores Gillian going, hey, that's pretty fucked up, and basically going, oh, you haven't heard anything yet. Please, let me continue. It's arguable that this is entirely because of a vitamin D deficiency, yes. Also, I love this scene. Konami was so insistent that they had to have multiple layers of parallax that they tanked the frame rate of the game. The MSX2 does not like parallax plus scrolling text. It's... It, it is not a fan. Kobe is cut off from the rest of the world, mostly because of pizza crimes. It's mostly because of how they eat their pizza. Oh yeah, that's where this game takes place. Neo Kobe. Yeah, so it doesn't show up in SD Snatcher, but in the original Snatcher, there's an entire scene that is devoted to explaining Neo Kobe pizza, which is pizza, normal pizza, that you dunk in soup. That's it. That's the whole thing. But why? Because Kojima decided that that would be something that was in the game. That's why. Oh yeah, people have extremely eaten Neo Kobe pizza in real life. Um, Doc has eaten it, I think. Ty has eaten it? Yeah, I mean, goons. Goons have eaten it. That's pretty much 
frankly, it's mostly Slow Beef's fault. S Slow Beef is... is ground zero. I don't think that he's eaten Neo Kobe pizza, but he's caused. He is, he is ground zero for, for Neo Kobe pizza being consumed in real life. Yeah, he's making biodroids to take over the world as the only human. They're not murder weapons, they're just firing plasma cannons at you. Good news, we're at 20 minutes. how much of the game was on disc one. And then marvel at the fact that through sheer power of will, Kojima convinced programmers to, to make this... I'm not going to tell you how long it is. This 20 minutes and counting cutscene, 21 minutes and counting cutscene, fit alongside all of that other shit on a single double density floppy. It actually would be really funny if you had to change diskettes a couple of times. Uh, when you're playing this game casually, you're going to be doomed to change because to change the floppies like tons. Like until you know the exact route that you're going, there's just so much floppy changing. Um, but yeah, the. Uh, the idea of having to change floppies during this cutscene is very funny. Oh yeah, Kojima blazed many trails with this. Sitting in chairs and talking plot for... 22 minutes and counting. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is the first time that Kojima put a fucking movie in one of his video games. The Snatchers do know about sunscreen. Uh, that's another plot point that is uh, really important to the original Snatcher that just you're kind of assumed to know. Also, the sneezing that everybody is doing at the, um, the theme park that's explained in the original Snatcher, and it's not explained by any NPC in, uh, in this game. Now we get to find out why random is way too dumb to be to be Gillian's kid.
also neither of them have noticed this up until this moment. That's true. Normal human electric arcs. Everybody gets them. <clears throat> yeah, he hurt his arm before entering the room and was just like chilling next to the door for no good reason. Ampersand, how's it going? And that's why they didn't call them random, like the English word in this. Yeah, sorry, Gina. Um, Kojima's here for you. Kojima's gonna make sure you understand how smart his plot is. Imagine being told to go to bed right as you hit this cutscene. Yep. We appear to be approaching half an hour. Yeah, we really do, don't we? Thank God there's no, did you get all that question at the end of this that will re- Actually, that would be really funny. I take it back. 
We definitely need... We definitely need a dialogue box asking, Hey, did you get all that? face melted. His eyebrows just fell down. No, we're not out of the Elijah Kojima zone yet. Soon. Split comes when I actually can play a video game again. Right now, I'm just watching a movie. 30 minutes. Thirty one minutes. Also, now there's naked snatchers. Chinchilla, how's it going? Remember 30 minutes ago when this was what I was doing? Too much text, can't remember before that? Understandable, frankly. Gilly needs to work on his grouping? Yeah. I mean, the L Angel plot uh, point was that was that was in the original Snatcher as well, so we can't be that upset about it. L Angel was um, originally the cure to Lucifer Alpha.
So I haven't played the original original Snatcher, and apparently the MSX version, and I believe the PC-98 version as well, had a lot of content uh, that just got, that, that was cut. I'd, or either cut or they didn't have time to implement it. Uh, so chronologically, this came after that, but I believe before, for example, the Sega CD release and so on. So I believe that this is the first iteration of the plot. PC-88, thank you. Also, welcome in. Using... Using your first chatter to provide good information. That rules. PC-98 was police knots, that's right. Thank you. You like to use your first chatter notifications to shitpost the streamer and let them know that's what you're here to do? I mean, that's fair. For me, though, I think it's important to keep people guessing. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna buffer up straight into a uh, into a naked snatcher. That's good. Naked Snatcher's gotta be circuit killed. Thank you. 
Actually, you know what? Yeah, Metal Gear can take this one. Or not. Is there RNG involved? Oh, yes. Sooner or later, I'm going to come across Snatchers that actually have either uh, El Angel or Lucifer Beta in a test tube in their hands. These guys, which would suck a lot. It's like the first one that I fought out here. Um, in my casual playthrough. Do I remember an hour and a half ago when I said the game was almost done? Yes. There's only one boss left. Well, two bosses. One of those bosses is RNG. Yeah, by Kojima standards, this is basically the credits. Lucky. <laughs> Good thing I healed. Bad. 
<laughs> you know what? Fair enough. Not sure about your strategy there. Hey, fair enough, Metal Gear. You did it. There we go. What happens if you shoot the tube? Don't know. Haven't done that yet. the debris of so many snatchers. You can hear the floppy diskette reading in your head. Yeah. So much nicer fighting you. Way better than fighting naked snatchers. Yeah, world record pace, technically. There might be a faster run on, like, Nico, uh, Nico or something, but to my knowledge, this is the first RTA of this game. I haven't been able to find one. Which definitely makes this world recordy. So many things to fix about this run. But still, it's been fun. You just set up Open MSX to play this for the first time? Right on. Do that right now. If I run into a naked snatcher, I could die in one hit, though, so I probably should care more than I do. Oh, I do not have free world record? Uh, 
Oh, 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 I see what you mean. Hell yeah. Nothing makes me happier than when somebody else gets interested in the game and takes away a world record from me. Come on. Thank you. Nori, how's it going? Okay, sure, it's a little bit long, but consider this, Shintong. There's a pee break roughly six hours and 30 minutes into it. Why not escape? I could. I'm iffy on escaping just because I'm like way lower level than I was casually. That's true, it's not just a pee break, it's pretty much a dinner break. That's absolutely correct. How does escaping work? Well, here, I'll show you. Right now, I can't escape because my speed is lower than this enemy's. This is why I wasn't escaping, by the way. It's by the time that I've done all that... Oh yeah, also if you're in a net, you can't escape. Not the biggest surprise there. Alright, there are naked snatchers here, so I have to be careful now. Perfect. Of where to go. Thank you. 
Stop it. But yeah, don't worry, this is not going to be my only run of this game. strength preemptive attack would kill me right now. One more strength by level up. somebody were able to do a, a full RNG manipulation in this game, it would be very, very, very fast, I suspect. One of the problems with a game like this is that the more optimized it is, the more the, the more it's, it's just loading screens. Is this good enough to run? It is not. Two shots is, though. Step route? Thankfully, encounters are they're they're not random. So a step route wouldn't matter. Except in the mirror palace. Come on, give me one more strength up. Let's go. Yeah, disc swapping. If it uses the, the RTC, which no reason to believe it wouldn't. Go, 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 go. Thank you. 
Every dodge is good. about my sleep cycle? I mean, I don't have work tomorrow, is the thing. Well, I did end up uh, starting this stream much later than I wanted. At this point, it would be silly not to finish the run. I think it's reasonable to celebrate 24 candles as its own split. Shit, 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 shit. That's less hurtful than I was anticipating it being. start running from these. I don't think I get another level up at this point. I'm not sure.
It's okay, they did, actually. This is just Metal Gear? Yes. That's true. Elijah monologuing at us made it so that instead of 50 minutes, we get 20. So that's good. Just barely not gonna be sub 2. Or sub 2, Jesus. Sub 8. That's like 2. We have a limited supply of L Angel. It'd make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? Okay, cool. So I don't have to save any circuit killers.
Yeah, he's top. Don't you want to use, like, Lucifer again? That would be good. How's it going? Yeah, this boss is a lot. This boss is more a lot than my casual playthrough. I think I was probably 10 levels higher than my casual playthrough. I genuinely don't know how much lower, like not zero, but no clue how much lower you could move split. I forget if there's... I forget if... No, there's still input. GG-ish. take me about five minutes to do that fight. That's true. I mean, to be fair, you didn't sit through an RPG speedrun. You sat through Kojima art. That's different.
yeah, I Elisha is, is not an unavoidable tragedy. Pretty sure that's the final input. Thank God all the Snatchers disappeared once you killed the big Snatcher. Well, it's a very slow nuclear explosion. Oh yeah, exploding nuclear reactors are famously safe. Oh yeah, also Sting is still alive. can't go killing off any important characters now, can we? just in case you missed the point of the game. Just, you know. Also, yes, this is in fact a Christmas game.
thank you for the GG's. Oh no, Dubs, you missed Kojima time? Okay, so Hideo Kojima put a 30 minute long, 31 minute long uh, cutscene in this game to make sure that you understood the intricate story and all of the morals that he was trying to get across. And then he also gave you, you know, the, the final moral message so that you didn't even have to think about it for yourself. It's very easy, very digestible. Man's a genius. Genius storyteller. Mwah. So are they a nuclear family now? I mean, after the the uh, nuclear reactor incident, yes. No, I think that your cat has a good point. I agree. Never apologize for, for a cat message. It's a blessing. It, it shares wisdom with the world. I did have a 30 minute long break like an hour ago. To be fair, MSX, not SNES. This is a game on floppy disks. Yeah, this NES would have way better vertical scrolling. It would have handled all those sprites so much better than this game does. But yes, it's very likely that figuring out lag mitigation strats is going to be part of optimizing this run for sure. Disc 2 is where candles happens. There's 24 of them, you know. Uh, these were double density. I, God, I, I knew what that meant. 30 years ago. Um, I think that's 720k? 
Is that right? Double density 720k, high density is 1.4? Double density means they sink twice as fast in water. That's true. How many SNES cards is this? I mean, this is smaller than Final Fantasy VI. Final Fantasy VI, I believe, is 32 megabit. It might be 24 megabit. Either one of those is bigger than this. I haven't been paying that much attention to, to the names, but I, so it might be that Hideo Kojima has shown up multiple times by now, but there he is. That's the man who's to blame. He sure has. Yeah, fair. I don't know what command package means. I don't know what that role does. All that I know is that, is that Kojima's in it. That's his role. One person on sound. Kazuhiko Uehara has done amazing work. thinking that we're going to see the end of the compo- There's a lot of composers here. Kate, thanks for hanging out. Why are- There's so many- Did each one of these people write a single song? Collectively, they did amazing work. They clearly worked effectively together. So good job to all of them, just coming right after a single person being allocated to sound effects. It's, it's a stark difference. Unfortunately, one of them had a crush on the other one, but that that one got married to a third one, so we're gonna have a snatcher incident any day now. Damn. Can't believe Lucifer Elf is real. Makes sense. Root, how's it going? Yeah, you you did a little bit miss. GG. Like if you're gonna make your credits 30 minutes long, you really gotta earn it. Final Fantasy does a really good job of earning long credits. It's 
special thanks to Shadow Moon. So that's going to be the Project Melancholia team, who did absolutely fantastic work. Yeah, this is an MSX2. It may well be that they are vertically scrolling at the highest speed they're able to, and rendering an image in the background may be legitimately impressive. So apparently they did have to reverse engineer the text display portion of this game and rewrite portions of it. Uh, so Max Iwamoto actually did a ton of work as I understand it, and the result pretty well speaks for itself. The, the interface feels like that's how it should have been to begin with. you checked had a pretty rudimentary translation. Yeah, so this translation came out uh, after uh, Slow Beef's LP, which is what I assume you found. Twenty fourteen is in my head, but I'm sure I'm wrong. I'm sure it wasn't twenty fourteen. Yes, it's entirely possible that they're re-rendering this entire thing every single line. Um, so the original Snatcher came out on PC-88 and MSX before it got expanded and re-released on um, Mega CD and stuff like that. I don't think that there was a PC-88 version of SD Snatcher. I think it was always MSX2, and that's it. 2019. See? 2014 was totally wrong. None of the characters you're rendering right now are super deformed. Just want to put that out there. The credits are super deformed. Okay, you know what? That's fair. The credits are very cutesy. That's why we're going so slow. That makes sense. 